In this tutorial, we are going to design the anchor bolts required by a foundation. The anchor bolts are elements that join the superstructure with the infrastructure to make the structure work as unity. The typical material used in the design of anchor bolts are ASTM A307 grades A and C, ASTM A354 grades BC and BD, ASTM A449 grades 1 and ASTM F1554 grades 36, 55 and 105. The force and moments obtained from the superstructure analysis are in this table. The material data is in this table and the dimension data is in this table. The first thing to do is calculate the quantity of bolts that are required due to the reaction forces that are acting in the base. The bolts required due to the actual force is calculated with the equation 17.6.1.2 of the American Concrete Institute 3 the standard, where NAS is the actual force, 5 is a reduction factor equal to 0.75 in accordance with the table 17.5.38 for tension. <coughs> Doom. The ASTM A307 grade C material meets the requirement for ductile material. ASE is the effective cross section area of the bolt and FUTA is the specific tensile strength of the anchor. We will try a 3 4 inches anchor, giving a result of 4 bolts. The bolts required due to the shear force is calculated with the equation 70.7.1.2b of the American Concrete is 238 standard. Where BSA is the shear force and phi is a reduction factor equal to 0 0.65 in accordance with the table 70.5.3a for shear. Also, the section 70.7.1.2.1 specifies when a pilot grouting path is used. The concrete nominal strength is shear shall be multiplied by 0 0.8, giving a result of 5 volts. We will try A number 6 volts. Now we proceed to calculate the required effective embedment depth of the anchor by solving HEF of the equation 17.6.2.2.1 of the American Concrete Institute Theory Standard, where MP is the axial force, KC is equal to 24 for casting anchors, FC is the compressive strength of the concrete, and lambda A is the lightweight modification factor, which is equal to 1 for casting anchors giving a result of 12 inches. The next step is to define how will be calculated the anchor bolts, if as a single anchor or an anchor group, according with the table 17.5.1.3.1 of the American Concrete Institute Field Standard. At a simple inspection, we can observe that the separation between anchors is 10 inches, and to be considered as a single anchor, the separation should be at least three times the embedment depth, which is 36 inches. The design will be as an anchor group, and as the separation of the anchors is less than 1.5 times the effective embedment depth, which is 18 inches, the effective embedment depth shall be corrected by limiting its value to the greater result of this equation, in accordance with the section 17.6.2.1.2 of the American Concrete Institute 3 the standard, where CA max is the maximum distance from the center of an anchor shaft to the edge of the concrete, and S is the separation center to center of the two consecutive anchors. The effective embedment depth is 6.67 inches. Now we perform the tension design by verifying the concrete breakout strength, the concrete pull-out strength, and the concrete side-face blowout strength. This process starts by calculating the basic breakout strength MB with the equation 17.6.2.2.1 of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, giving a result of 22.63 kilo pounds. The next step is calculate the projected concrete failure area of the anchor group A and C, according with the figure R17.6.2.1 of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, giving a result of 1,600 square inches and the projected concrete area of a single anchor A and CO, according with the equation 17.6.2.1.4 of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, giving a result of 400 square inches. The next step is calculate the breakout eccentricity factor psi ECN 
the edge effect factor psi EDN, the breakout cracking factor psi CN, and the breakout splitting factor psi CPN, with equations of the sections 17.6.2.3, 4, 5, and 6 respectively, giving a result of 0 0.611, 1, 1.25, and 1. Now, we calculate the concrete breakout strength of the anchor intention NCBG for an anchor group with equation 17.6.2.1b of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, or 5, is a reduction factor equal to 0 0.7, according with the table 17.5.3b of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, keeping a result of 48.44 kilopounds. Now, we calculate the tension force which the anchor bolts are submitted for with this equation, where Mx and Ny are the bending moment in x and y direction, and H is the diameter of the column, keeping a result of 32.81 kg. Due is a seismic design, the concrete breakout verification shall satisfy the paragraph B of the section 17.10.5.4 of the American Concrete Institute 3 standard with this equation. Verification passed. The next step is to verify the concrete pull-out strain. First, we define the type of anchor to use, I, J, or L. The type of anchor bolt will be type I. Now, we calculate the basic single anchor pull-out strain NP with the equation 17.6.3.2.2a of the American Concrete Institute 3 standard, where ABRG is the net bearing area of the head of the anchor bolt, which for a bolt number 6 with a X head is 0 0.654 square inches, giving a result of 15.7 kilopounds. Now, we calculate the pull-out strain of a single casting anchor MPN with equation 17.6.3.1 of the American Concrete Institute 3 the standard, where 5 is a reduction factor according with the table 17.5.3c equal to 0 0.7. 5 CP is the pull-out cracking factor according with the section 17.6.3.3 and assuming cracking at service load level its value is 1. The result is 10.98 kilopounds. Due to a seismic design, the application shall satisfy the paragraph C of the section 17.10.5.4 of the American Concrete Institute Field Standard with this equation, where N is the quantity of anchor in tension. The verification passed. The last verification the concrete side face blowout strain isn't required due to the embedment depth of the anchor is greater than 2.5 CA1. The shear design is based on the verification of the concrete breakout of anchor in shear and the concrete pry out of anchor in shear. First, we calculate the thickness member in which the anchor is located, HA, giving a result of 15 inches. Now, we calculate the basic single anchor breakout strain BB with equation 17.7.2.2.1A of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, where DA is the diameter of the bolt, LE is the load bearing length of the anchor, which in this case is equal to 8 DA, giving a result of 82.69 kilopounds. The next step is calculate the projected area of the failure surface on the side of the concrete ABC, according with the figure R70.7.2.1b of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard. In this case, it's calculated with this equation, given a result of 600 square inches. Now, we calculate the projected area of a single anchor ABCO with the equation 17.7.2.1.3 of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, giving a result of 450 square inches. The next step is calculate the breakout eccentricity factor psi ECB, the edge effect factor psi EDB, the breakout cracking factor psi CB, 
and the breakout thickness factor psi Hb with equations 17.7.2.3, 4, 5, and 6 respectively, giving a result of 0 0.78, 0 0.9, 1.2, and 1. Now, we calculate the concrete breakout strength in shear with the equation 17.7.2.1b of the American Cochrane Institute 380 standard, where 5 is a reduction factor according with the table 17.5.3b equal to 0 0.7, giving a result of 65.01 kilopounds. The next step is calculate the shear force that acts in the anchors with its equation, where Fx and Fy are the shear forces in x and y direction respectively, giving a result of 39.48 kilopounds. Head on the case 1 where the figure R17.7.2.1p was assumed a distribution forces do the separation S and the distance to the edge CA1 are equal. The application passed. Now we verify the prior hour strength with equation 17.7.3.1b of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, where pi is a reduction factor equal to 0 0.7 in accordance with the table 17.5.3c of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard. KCP is a factor equal to 2 for anchors embedded at least 2.5 inches, and NCPG is taken as NCBG calculated with equation 17.6.2.1b on tension design as is specified in section 17.7.3.1.2 of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, giving a result of 67.82 kilopounds. Defecation passed. The final verification is the tension and shear interaction, which is calculated with the equation 17.8.3 of the American Concrete Institute 380 standard, where NU is the tension force that is acting in the bolts. NN is the lesser of the values obtained from the verifications of concrete breakout strength for tension, concrete pullout strength, and concrete side phase blowout strength to resist tension force. VU is the shear force that is acting on the bolt, and VN is the lesser of the values obtained from the verification of the concrete breakout strength for shear and the concrete pry out strength to resist the shear forces. Verification passed. In this figure, we can observe the final design of the anchor bolt. With this, conclude this tutorial.